Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to another video. My name is Lexi of Lex Electric. I'm an actor, former model, and current electrician. And today's video has nothing to do with any of those things, but, but it is a handy girl episode. So if you wanna watch a handy lady doing stuff, continue watching. Oh, hello shadows. Oh no, where do I go? So this video is something I wanted to do for a long time because I really wanted to refinish my mother's floors in her old house. So if you've seen the last video, you'll know that I've moved. I'm back in my family childhood home and I want to make it better, brighter, faster, stronger. Anyone else go to a supply store and expect to spend like X amount of dollars and then end up spending way more money? Because same. So here's what I got. I got a bunch of different grits for sandpaper for the belt sander. I've got the 40, 80, and then 120. Wood filler to fill the cracks because she's old. I got some tack cloth, levy gloves, a stain applicator thingamajig, some mineral spirits, some tape. The most important, arguably, is the polyurethane filler. All right, I'm gonna get started doing some prep and I'll bring you along. Oh, and quick disclaimer, I am probably doing things wrong and I know that. This is not a tutorial. I've done a lot of research and I'm doing the best that I can. And in my eyes, anything is better than what the hardwood floors look like right now. So that's the, that's the energy we're taking into this project. So I'm gonna start this process by doing a little test square. So this is the first cut done with 40 grit sandpaper and you can really see the difference. Even just a quick sand and it's already looking so much better. everyone it is the next day and I am doing some wood fill I went and picked up the sander this morning oh yeah I went I decided after using the hand sander that I wanted to rent a bigger sander because I decided I wanted to do a bigger spot so just doing some wood fill and then I'm gonna start working on that and don't mind my weird safety glasses they're they're safety glasses that's why they're so adorable <laughs> fun like starting get doing the first pass but um it's a special type of plug and they didn't give me an extension cord if I have to go to Home Depot again as it turns out they did forget to give me the cord so looks like we're going to Home Depot Woo! This house was built in 1957 and my parents didn't move in until 1997 when I was just a wee babe at six months old. When they moved in, they said it was entirely covered in carpet and the first thing they did was rip all that carpet up. And what they found underneath were these beautiful 
but admittedly very well-worn and well-loved hardwood floors, which are oak. Having an extremely young family with a baby and a toddler, they obviously didn't get around to refinishing them, and it kind of just became part of the house and part of the charm. They had these really dark, worn, loved floors, and that was just how it was. This was the kind of project that seemed impossible. It seemed extremely difficult. It would take a lot of time and a lot of energy, and I just didn't know if I could do it. But having moved back recently, it was the number one thing that I noticed when I walked in the house and having taken time away from living from home and coming back to it, I knew that I wanted to give this home the love that it has given me my entire life. And I wanted to give my mom this gift of refinishing the floors and bringing out the true beautiful colors underneath. It's an interesting thing going from being a fully independent adult living on your own or living with a partner to moving back into your childhood home and back to your old childhood bedroom. It is an adjustment. It definitely felt that I had taken several steps back on the adulting ladder, but after a minute I realized I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to own a home in my life, but this is the best kind of next best thing in doing that. I am in a home that I can work on, I can modify, and I'm not paying someone else's mortgage. I'm paying my mom's mortgage, I'm helping her around the house, and I'm really giving back all the things that she and this house have given me to make me the adult that I am today. There was something so satisfying about unveiling each layer of grime and dust and revealing the beautiful white light wood underneath. It kind of, it felt almost cathartic for me that I could peel away these layers of childhood and memories and unearth new ones underneath. I don't know, maybe that's just a little too deep. Maybe I'm being a little crazy, but. <laughs> I'm sure many trades people can relate to the need to just fix things and make things better and use your hands and get dirty and get on the flow and get down and anyways. <laughs> but there is something so satisfying about being able to fix things and look back and say that I did that and I made it happen. That's I think why we all get into the trades because we can't just sit idly by and tap away on a computer. We actually want to build something with our hands and with our bodies and make it work. All right, so the first cut of the 40, 35 grit, 36 grit is done. Did the edges and the corners and the main piece. Just ignore that. We're just gonna pretend that's not there. And we've gone into the living room and the hallway. So already a huge, huge improvement, and I'm excited to see how the next grit will make it even better. It is, I don't have a watch on, like 5.30ish, almost 6. I'm in the middle of the second pass. The second pass is by far quicker than the first pass. I've got my emotional support Diet Coke and I'm, hit, I'm hitting a little bit of a, a wall. So I need to pop myself up to keep going because I only have this rental for a day. So it has to be today. Oh, it's all twisted. Oh. A couple days later and I am here with my assistant Farah. Can you say hi to the people here? Hi. 
I spent the weekend just kind of recovering my body because I was really sore. And now I need to do some finishing touches on the sanding and then hopefully apply a couple coats of stain in certain spots. And by stain, I mean sealer. If I say stain from now on, I mean sealer. It's a polyurethane sealer. We're not doing any stain because the wood speaks for itself. Again, this is not a tutorial, but I do have a little hack for you. So when you rent a drum sander, you have to buy these belts and they are like $20 each. So they're quite expensive, but I have cut out some pieces and I will be reusing those on sanding blocks to do some hand sanding. So I'm just, I'm standing outside the bathroom and I found something under the, uh, the molding. What is that? A necklace or something? How did that, oh shoot, I broke it. How did that get there? Is it in, what? <laughs> Jesus? <laughs> what the frick? I've just mineral spirited and tack clothed the floor. I'm gonna start the sealer and I open it up. And what's the first thing we see? We see a dog hair. <laughs> I guess I never explained the full reason why I did move back home with my mom. Um, my partner and I of four years, we did split up. It was very amicable, very loving, but it still was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. And a big way for me to work through all those emotions was to do the work. I am still not employed yet. My back has still been uh, pretty bad with my injury, but I've been able to do projects around the house that keep me busy. And this one kind of seems like the final boss of projects. When I first moved back in, it was painting, it was building shelving, building furniture, rearranging, organizing, basically anything that I could do that made me feel a little bit more in control of myself and my surroundings and there's nothing quite like hard work and sweat to keep your mind occupied when when working through this and it's never gonna stop hurting but I think it's gonna get a little easier every day and this was a really satisfying project and thing to keep my mind occupied. Oh it's a nice bright sunny day that's nice. Wow I'm really fast approaching my 30s, aren't I? I finished the third coat in the hallway. I think I'm gonna have to call it there for this video. I have to get a minor surgical procedure today and so I don't think I'll be able to tackle the other room for a couple of weeks. So, unfortunately you're gonna have to stick around for part two where I do the full reveal and work on the other side. But if you like this video, please let me know, comment, subscribe, do all the things and uh, yeah, if you have any video suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Love to hear them. Other than that, have yourself a beautiful day. Thanks for watching.